Hey everybody, it's Jeff with AC Sim, and I'm getting ready for my very first iRacing IMSA race, and I'm a little nervous to tell you the truth. Driving the Ferrari GT3 car, and I qualified miserably. I was 14th out of 16 in our class. Uh, 31 total cars. We got like four prototypes. Um, let's see. There's a handful of GTE cars, and then the GT3 cars are the highest. You can see them in the in the pink there on the bottom right of the screen. Uh, the fastest lap was a 121.2, which is really fast here. I came in with a 124.2. Uh, probably left a lot on the track. Um, ran race fuel and qualifying just because that was what I was comfortable with. So I'm looking to just, you know, pick up some spots, survive. It's a long race, so I'd like to... Uh, let's hang in there. You're going to have to make a pit stop in this one. So, like I said, a little nervous. This is the highest I've ever ran on the uh, road racing license. Uh, Cadillac and uh, the roof and all that is the highest I've been before. This is my first C-class road race. So, a little bit uh, shaky here. We'll see what happens. like to just survive, get the full run in, and uh, see where we end up at the end. We're going to have to watch out for lap traffic. Um, some of the prototypes were not very fast, so... Uh, I'm, I'm expecting some chaos up front. So starting at the back is not such a bad idea for us. Uh, at least get us out of trouble if anything goes crazy here into turn one. Thanks. So a bunch of guys are not gritting, so that's why uh, there's this delay here. I'm waiting for the time to expire, so everybody that's missed the grid will now start from the pit lane, which I, I think there was a bunch of guys... They were saying they were going to start in the back because they were a little afraid of what's about to happen up front. <laughs> it's the 13th car. There we go. We're rolling now. Alright. I'm driving the Ferrari. Driving the Ferrari GT3 car. I've driven the Audi, um, I do own that one, but wasn't a big fan of it. Uh, I don't know if it's changed recently, but I know before I was having problems get, if I get on the curb and it, it just wanted to spin. I like using quite a bit of curb. So this car just felt feels more stable, more balanced for me. Um, I actually don't own the Mercedes. I, I saw some guys that were really quick were running the Mercedes, so maybe might be worth a shot to try that car. Plus, I, I really like the way the Ferrari looks. It's such a good-looking car. You can see next to me, that's the Ferrari right there. And this green car up ahead, this is the uh, Mercedes. And the Audi directly in front of me, the white and green car. So we're going to have to make a pit stop. It looks like you can run about 21, 22 laps, I think, full speed. So we'll have to use that wisely. I'm not sure if I should take tires. I'm guessing I should. Um, it's going to be kind of interesting. I'll have to make a decision, I guess, at the time whether I'm going to take tires or not. I know you're probably going to lose a lot more time, but I think the uh, time gained on the track will probably be outweigh it. I hope, at least, because that was my game plan. Get ready. Learn as we go here in the uh, IMSA class. This is my uh, home race track, so I'm kind of excited. This is why I wanted to start here. I actually know this track. Uh, if you see my video, go to this track to, for events in real life. Green, green, green. Oh, we're going green. Okay. Wasn't expecting that. I was expecting we would not start until we got to the front straightaway. Looks like the uh, prototypes got a big gap on us, so they start the race. All the prototypes start up front together. There we go. 45 minutes around Laguna Seca. So I got a little bit of a gap to me. I'm not really worried about getting up there because the feeling some chaos is going to happen up here in the first corner. So far, so good. Everybody's clean. So you like to see.
one making a move up towards the corkscrew. I got put in the top split. I'm not sure. I'll have to check after this, but I know it's decently fast in practice that I got in here and I was one of the slowest guys, so I must have got put in the top split. Missed the line there for the corkscrew. Ooh, I got a little sideways. Parking a little oversteery there. Had to grab a lot of brake there to save the car, so. Just trying to make a move. I'm gonna start picking up the pace here, I think. I gotta, Start pushing a little bit more. We're starting to fall a little behind here. And I just overshot that corner. Go right. Got one off the track. Clear on your left. Clear on the left. Clear on your left. All clear. All clear. currently running 14th in our class. All the uh, finishing positions and ratings are really based on your class. We're probably running about, what, 29th overall. But we are in the slowest of the three groups. I mean, they're fast, but they're all over the place. Okay, it's going off again. I kind of got through that corner bad. I, I probably would have had a big run on him if I would have got through there like I normally do. You guys are probably holding me up quite a bit here. Moved up to 12th, so I don't know if some guys are ahead of us wrecked or what. Ooh, 
there goes one. Like I said, that guy is fast, but he's out of shape every corner. It's only a matter of time you're gonna spin it doing that. I actually forgot to downshift there. Right. I think I did downshift it. Didn't work. I downshifted too early, so it didn't allow it to go into gear. And I ended up coming off that corner fourth rather than third. I'll have to keep an eye on that. This car has been a whole different learning experience. It's similar to the Cadillac. I think that's a good base for starting with these GT3 cars. We are trying to figure them out. It's a good base, um, but it's still a little bit different. to 11th in our class. I think I want to try to challenge behind me here. This car that we're catching, this is actually one of the GTE cars. This is the second fastest group. And in, uh, in actual IMSA, this is that's considered a GT Le Mans car. This car that we're driving is a GT Daytona. And this guy's gonna head for the pit. So we're not technically racing him, but it's kind of cool to beat guys that are above you. And I can see on the screen, you see the yellow car that we're catching. That is one of the uh, Daytona prototypes, so we're actually reeling him in. That'd be pretty cool to beat one of those. Also, using the steering wheel uh, screen or the steering wheel visual on. Uh, somebody requested that. One of my buddies requested that I leave the steering wheel on so they can see what I'm doing. Hopefully it's gonna not gonna strike me. This car it's pretty low, the steering wheel doesn't get in your view. So hopefully it, in the other cars it doesn't distract me any. I know like I think like the legend it's like kinda in your way. And I did it again, I missed the gear there. Coming up the hill. This guy's really looking to try to get by me here. I'll let him take that one. She tried to challenge him, he got dove it in there pretty good and actually got on the brakes well. I didn't have to stop for him. It's a nice clean pass. Let's see if we can figure out what he's doing, try to gain on him. Lost a lot of speed there, I just not get into there very well. It's a long race. I'm just looking to survive, be there at the end. I hit the inside curb a little bit, kind of geared me off to the right. There's a 1x there, cutting the corkscrew a bit. I 
this guy is. He's on it, but he's a little sketchy. All clear, all clear. So we got one of the GTE cars coming up behind us. He's the class leader, the race leader. Oh, that's one of the prototypes, rather. My bad. Yellow is the Daytona prototypes. This guy just parked it in the middle of the corner. You got one on your left. All clear, all clear. I ran into him because he just parked there. And I'll try to let one of the prototy prototype right. go here. Ah. Right. This is turning ugly real quick here. Car on your left. All clear, all clear. You got one on your left. Oh, another car for position hey, challenging right. me up all the clear, inside. All clear. Car on your left. Hey, right. All clear, all clear. Thank you. Man, he parked that one. So I just gotta get back in my rhythm here, I got a little rattle. Got a car contact for contacting that guy, it almost spun. Lost a lot of time. Off the track ahead of us. Car on your right. Clear on the right. He missed the corner, kind of went off the track, came back on, and got into me a little bit. Luckily, just a zero X. 30 minutes to go. One on your right. Go there. Come on. Clear on the right. Car on your left. Keep right there. I'm trying to give this guy room. I don't want to run him off the track, but... Alright, so now we got some clean track. Let's try to lay down some laps and... Get ourselves back into this one. Ah, uh, there's another 1X there.
my phone's going off over there. Can't talk right now. Oh, that's really annoying. I got it. Turn that off. Prototypes coming up on me, along with a GTE car, one of the GT Le Mans. This old R line going down into one here. I'm gonna let them take this. Car on your left. Clear on the left. Just want to be consistent. Car on your right. All clear. All clear. Let them go. Ooh. Wasn't in the right gear going through there. cars. This is a great thing. I love mixed class racing because you really do have to deal with everybody on the track. If you're good about not getting into trouble, you can gain a lot of spots just by staying out of the way. And you got one on your way. Still there. Clear on the way. Him go down the inside. Looks like we might have some clear track now. I'm not gonna have too much more traffic coming behind us. I think there's one more back there. And then most of the front runners in the GTE will be by us. that corner terribly. So you to give up a full second here. Hopefully this guy realizes what's happening. Let him by in the process.
Yeah, I just ended up in the uh, gravel there coming through the corkscrew. Not pretty. Just keep pushing. I've just been struggling with that this race. That corner has been killing me. a car in our class directly behind us and then one directly in front of us that's also in our class. These are four positions. try to gain some time here these guys are I'm all starting to reel these guys in front of me in so I'm gonna gain some time then I'll pit and hopefully come out of the pits with fresh tires and be ready to go overshot that corner kind of worked for me I'm heading the pits this time. Car on your right. All clear, all clear. Hit this corner. This one's a little tight. Ah, I sped. I thought I hit the limiter and it didn't work. I think I keyed up instead. Maybe it's not going to hit me with the speeding penalty. Turn the limiter on. Like I said, I'm hoping everybody takes tires, and that's the strategy. I don't actually know, to be honest with you. So 
feels like I'm sitting here a long time. <laughs> I can't imagine people are taking tires now. Come on, baby, go, 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 go. Should have turned the traction control off. So there you go, speed limiter is on now. I thought I sped. I Maybe I got slowed down enough that it didn't count it. I was a little worried about that. Thank you. Here we go, back at it. So we're gonna come back on with some faster guys behind us. So we need to watch our mirrors here. Loose on me coming off there. They might have put a tire in the gravel. Clear on the right. We have a car stopped on the right. Go left. Ooh. Car on your right. Car is wrecking. Go there. Hold your line. Clear on the right. That was scary. there terribly. Might give them the preferred line going into here. Are on your right. Clear on the right. Trying to get my speed up, didn't really work. I thought he'd have me cleared going on entry and I could move up, but wasn't quite cleared. Guys yeah, spinning coming out of the pits, it looks like. I don't know. Somebody just whacked the cones actually in the pits. So I think these guys, the enemy in my class, they are up a lap on me. I don't know if it's, did they haven't pitted or what. Yeah, it looks like they just haven't pitted yet. He's headed in. Catching this other Mercedes, and I think he's a lap ahead of me as well.
looks like the faster guys all waited the until the last minute to make their pit stops. Yeah, I get it. The leader's pitting now. Oh, jeez. Oh my god. My squatter is tripping out right now. Yeah, dude, I get it. <laughs> what is happening right now? <laughs> I have never seen this happen before. Okay. He really wanted to get that message across, I guess. I don't know how I ended up behind these guys. I, I know I was behind the white one. I didn't think the black part got black back by us. I'm certainly faster than them. I know I can beat these guys, it's just a matter of getting by them. Uh, they make a lot of mistakes, so I'm hoping to be able to capitalize on one of these mistakes. I've been kind of hanging with these guys the whole race. Thought I'd be a little quicker in this one than this, but hey, what are you going to do? First one out. First race out, I mean, in this car, so I'll gain a little bit here and hopefully be faster for the next one. Just haven't been able to get through there very well. Contact. Got one on your left. All clear. Wow. All clear. Glad I backed out of it because I would have never made it there. <laughs> he was going to run me all the way onto the curb. I think that white car, if you get to 17 incidents, you get disqualified. And I think he actually got disqualified. Because he disappeared right after that contact, and that's usually a sign that uh, he's hit his incident limit. <laughs> Like I said, my game plan was just to survive. Got one on your left. Here comes one of the class leaders. Hey, right. One of the fast. Yeah, class leader there. And GT Le Mans goes by us. So we're running 12th. Uh, a little better. Would have been nice to do a little bit better. I think I could still gain. I mean, I'm like 12 seconds back, but depends on if anything big happens to guys in front of us. 
Maybe we can gain some spots and uh, make some time up. It's never over till it's over, right? Just keep digging. Move over, let this guy are on your right. Go up here. We're on the right. first gear that time just to see. I don't think it's going to be any faster, but I don't know. I haven't been getting off that corner very well. That's the best I've gotten through there all day. I think I'm just turning in too early on that final corner. Try to swing out a little wider next time through. Still racing, still learning. Ooh, got into there a little hot. That was a little better. All right. I was making up some time on the guy ahead of me in my class, but it looks like I got the class leader slightly ahead of me. Now I can't see where the other guy is at in the next position. Whew. Drove in there very deep. I'm going to 
let's stay wide here on the straightaway. I'll let these guys head underneath. Are on your way. Make my intentions All clear. 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 You can have the inside. a lot of time going through there just trying to get these guys past me on the entry of the corkscrew that time. White flag. I didn't realize we were getting that far into this. Whew. Okay. 45 minutes is almost up. I did want to take a look at how much fuel I had left just to see if I put too much on my pit stop. One thing I wanted to see. Yeah, I still had way too much fuel. I mean, it's only six gallons, so it's not probably holding me back too much, but it is enough to make a difference. So next time if I hit that late, I'm going to take a little less fuel. Well, that's a sign to me uh, as well. I got pit. Much earlier. There's one thing I was afraid of pitting in uh, traffic that uh, if I pitted too early to try to make up time on clean track, I'd end up in a situation where uh, I didn't have enough fuel to get to the end because you can only put 13 gallons in this car. So I actually moved up to 10th. I guess somebody wrecked in front of me. Well, there it is. 31 laps around Laguna Seca. Bring it home in 10th in our very first IMSA GT3 race. Not the finish I wanted. I was the number two car in the server, so I was hoping for a little bit better finish than that. But I'll get a bit back to work on it. See if I can uh, find some more speed. Maybe make some adjustments on the setup. Running just the baseline. So that could be a little bit of it as well. So thanks for watching. Keep uh, keep checking back for more videos. Give this one a like. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you're just watching this for the first time. Helps me out if I can get some more subscribers uh, and be able to monetize this stuff. So appreciate the help, and I'll uh, see you guys in the next one.